Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for, for joining us at the Brockton Service Center for our grand reopening and rededication. I am Erin Devaney, and it is my honor to serve as Registrar of Motor Vehicles. And I couldn't be happier than to be in the City of Champions. For the Registry of Motor Vehicles, our goal every day are to be champions of customer service. And I can't think of a community that epitomizes the need to face every challenge, every obstacle, and to come out winning on behalf of all of those that we serve. We have been in this Forest Avenue location for quite some time. It is, in many ways, an iconic service center. I was sharing with the delegation that I remember standing in line in May of 1992 in this exact spot to complete my first driver's license renewal. So this is a location that I have very fond memories of and that I love, and we couldn't be happier to share this new look feel and customer experience with all of you. And I am equally honored to be joined by the people that help support the Registry of Motor Vehicles, your local Brockton delegation. And so the first local champion that I'd like to introduce for joining us here today is the distinguished Mayor Bill Carpenter. Mr. Mayor. Well, good morning, everyone. First, uh, thank you, Registrar, and welcome back to Brockton. We had the pleasure of the Registrar visiting City Hall recently, and uh, it's great uh, for us to be back, have you back here in the city of Brockton again. Uh, this truly is a, represents just a, a great investment by the state that benefits the city uh, in so many ways. I, I want to be sure to thank, you'll hear from the members of the legislative delegation, but I want to thank them for their hard work. You know, it's during a time where in Washington nothing seems to be getting done, uh, yet here I think this is a great example of our legislative delegation, we're all Democrats, and I love them all, uh, working with the Republican administration together to be able to bring this investment to the city of Brockton. And, uh, you know, this, one of the reasons this is important to the city is this is a regional center. So the registry brings people to Brockton. And as much as I know you're implementing technology to stop people from coming to the registry, I'm actually fine with them all coming to the registry uh, because it brings people from the surrounding region into the city. Uh, so it's certainly uh, important for us. The um, in a prior life, decades ago, I was in the insurance business, and I spent a lot of time standing in line at the old registry. So I have a lot of memories of what a tough experience the registry was 20 or 30 years ago. And to come in here now to a bright, clean place with the latest technology that's oriented on customer service, that's oriented towards getting you in and out as quickly as they can, uh, it really is welcome to everyone here, not just the Brockton residents, but everyone that uh, utilizes the registry. And, and finally, I just want to say how much I appreciate uh, Registrar, the long-term commitment that this represents, because you didn't make this kind of an investment in the building if you weren't planning on staying here for a while. And so I think any time uh, the state, with the support of our delegation, makes a long-term commitment to the city, that's a big win for the city of Brockton. So. Thank you for the commitment to the city. Thank you for this beautiful facility. And uh, I hope people will come out and use it. All right, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. And not only do our customers like this new experience, but our staff, many of whom have spent their careers in the former r and location, are very happy to have this new experience as well. So even if we ever contemplated leaving, they'd stay here for you, <laughs> I can assure you. Well, in addition to all the local support that we have, 
the registry wouldn't be able to make these investments in customer service if it weren't the support and the partnership that Governor Baker, Lieutenant Governor Polito, and Transportation Secretary Pollock have from the legislature. We can have great ideas, but without legislative partnership, we wouldn't be able to make these service improvements possible. So I'm very pleased to have the delegation here today, and I'd like to acknowledge and ask to come up and offer remarks Senator Michael Brady. And if I may, I'm going to ask the rest of our delegation to come up together because I like what the mayor said uh, in, in re regards to Washington. We work very well together with bipartisan support as a team in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. And that's how we've made some great strides and got great endeavors done. And I want to thank the registrar for all the work and support of keeping the location here. I remember when I was a young lad, I was a lot, there are no gray hairs, it was over the east side of Brockton and it was in close proximity to the highway, and it makes sense, this location here, because we encompass a lot of the South Shore, where residents from all over the South Shore use this registry, not just Brockton residents. And, and to the people who work behind the scenes, because without their support and work ethic, they wouldn't have the efficient uh, support to uh, make things work and, and take care of our customers. And I see an old friend there, Welcome to the registry, <laughs> uh, friend. Uh, but we're very fortunate that we have a great team in Massachusetts, and I want to thank you for all the work and thank you for keeping it in its present location and also the renovations. So thank you. And I'm going to pass it on the tour to my colleague. All right. Good morning. It is my pleasure to be here today, first as the state representative for the area, uh, but today I was a customer of the registry as well. Uh, I found I had misplaced my license. I thought when I came in here this morning, perfect time to do it. I buzzed in and buzzed out quickly. Uh, the service is excellent, as always. The place is beautiful, and Registrar Devaney, too, again, thank you for your commitment to the city. Uh, when I was first elected, there was some talk of moving the registry out of Brockton, and as a delegation, we rallied together tried to do everything we could to make sure that we kept the registry here. And I just can't thank you enough for your commitment to the city of Brockton and to the surrounding area. And thanks. Great to be here. Thank you. Thank you. I just uh, checked my license and I have 10 days left, so I'm going to... <laughs> I'm going to uh, re register, so th thank you, thank you for having me. I just grew up right, right around the corner. I can see my house from here when I uh, grew up, and uh, I used to walk up and down here. And uh, the way the uh, building has been uh, done over, and I'd like to <coughs> thank the mayor and the, uh, the Baker Polito administration and all of us for uh, keeping it here in Brockton. We've kept the uh, the DA's office moved downtown, the unemployment. Thank you, Mr. Mayor, and all all of us for uh, what we're we're trying to do as far as the people. Um, and uh, like Mike said, you know, I recognize uh, a few people behind the uh, the uh, uh, post there. You know, uh, trying to help help everybody here in Brockton. And uh, the old one, I remember the uh, the doors used to get broken quite a bit as people were leaving, slamming the doors. As as, as we know, I recognize the doors now are a little easier, uh, so they won't won't get broken. But uh, this is a wonderful facility, and uh, thank you very much. So I want to thank Senator Brady, Representative Cronin, and Representative Cassidy again for, for all of their support. And as much as it's my honor and my privilege to serve as registrar, honestly, the important work that gets done every day is in our 29 service center locations, in our contact center, with our partners at AAA who provide services because at the Registry of Motor Vehicles, we are about customer service. And customer service, at the end of the day, for our team, if you were to ask them, is helping people day in and day out to get their business done with the Commonwealth. So these nice men and women that you see behind the counters, or if you have to deal with one of our hearings officers or one of our road test examiners, they're the ones who are part of transforming the registry into a world-class customer service organization. And quite frankly, they make my job easier every day. So I'd like to acknowledge um, uh, Deputy Registrar Mary Tibma, who could not be here today because she's handling a few other things for us, our district manager, Jay Delicio, who oversees our southeast region, 
we couldn't do it in Brockton without a manager, Mia Cox Johnson, who makes it all look easy. And again, our entire team that is here that serves you every single day in the Brockton newly renovated service center. And these events wouldn't be possible without my communications team, Susan Butler, and our general services team that makes all of these arrangements, Jose Ortiz. So I want to thank everybody that makes this happen for an event. Um, and basically this experience that you see is not staged for the event. This is what real life is every day for our customers here in Brockton. So thank you all for coming out. We're going to move outside on a beautiful day like this and do the official ribbon cutting. But on behalf of the Baker Polito administration, Secretary Pollock, and the entire registry of motor vehicles team, welcome to the newest home of our customer service champions at the registry of motor vehicles. So thank you all very much. All right, I'll count, we'll cut on three, okay? One, two, three. Nice. Well done.